All right, we got a lottery class. Step one, review the lottery class. It's got a private string. The constructor does a lot of stuff, but I tell you what it does. It generates a random value from the letters and numbers that's 10 characters long. For example, that thing. There's a getter method where you say get value and it sends it back. There's also a two string that sends the value back. A little bit redundant. Uh, the instructions say write code in the main method to create a 1 million element lottery ticket <laughs> array. I love doing that. <laughs> 1 million lottery ticket array. Called, I didn't say what it should be called, did I? Uh, I'm going to call it entries equals new lottery ticket one and then six zeros. This is, this is a raise at their best. You want to know what happens with random, a million random entries. I got it to show my name. That was pretty cool. Like my first name, Walt. Uh, but even at a million, it doesn't happen very often because there's a lot of entries. I mean, a lot of possible things. So I made it a million element array, instantiate a lottery ticket at each element. So this, if I printed one of these spots, it would say null right now. I'll show you System .out .println entries zero, and it's going to say null. And in fact, if I tried to to get value, uh, get value, it's gonna crash. No pointer exception because it doesn't exist. There's nothing there yet. So uh, when you create an array of primitives, whether it's a double or an int or a boolean, it goes ahead. There's a default value, but for things like uh, custom classes or any reference class like a string. Um, you have to um, instantiate it. So I'm making a regular for loop. And I'm just going to say entries i equals new lottery ticket. Whoop, I thought I had it on the clipboard still, but I didn't. There we go. And then I asked you to go through the entire array and print all the entries that contain West County High School. Or if you prefer, make a search for your name, but probably a shortened version of your name. I wouldn't go past three or four characters. But um, I'm going to do a enhanced for loop. Because I'm not trying to change it. Remember, enhanced for loops are great if you don't need to change anything or if you're not comparing one element to the previous one or something like if x get value dot equals. I'm going for my name right now. Didn't try for Hayes. I tried for my first name and it. It didn't find any. Yeah, see, I ran it a million entries and it didn't find my name. Does that make me feel slightly less validated? Yes. I can make uh, the array 10 million. Will I get a haze out of 10 million? Well, I think the problem is that it, it's it takes characters. 10 times longer. <laughs> also, it's 10 characters long, so it's never going to equal haze. Uh, oh yeah, I meant to do index of get value index of thank you is greater than uh, negative one. Yeah, that's what I meant. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, we're gonna get some here out of ten million. Yeah. 
There we go. So uh, to see if something contains something, you just do index of. And I was mistakenly doing dot equals. If we were going to say starts with your name, then you could do substring and dot equals. Uh, and I'm going to go to West County High School, like I asked, and I'm going to change it back to just 1 million because I, I don't want it to take half an hour to run. I mean, you could make the number um, even bigger. Um, but yeah, pretty cool what you can do with an array. I was trying to reinforce the idea that when you're doing an array that's not an int or a double or a boolean, that you have to instantiate the objects. We've had to do this all along, like with the frog class or with strings. You have to put something there, otherwise it's not. You, you have not completed the work. All right, I'm going to stop the recording, yes? Uh huh. How does that work? Like we have to put the, the class before, and then well, that's what we're doing when we say int n colon nums, or string t colon names. So we're right. saying what kind of what kind of object it is. Yeah, we always said frog f colon pond. This just happens to be an array of lottery tickets. Yeah. Uh, I did purposely do a lottery ticket. I mean, I did a custom class for this warm up just to stretch your thinking a little bit. I didn't want to scare you. But, um, let the permanent record show that Drake says he's scared. 